I'm here at the People Centered Internet and I'm talking to Anna Waldman and she works for Autodesk and she works for the maker or she basically is very involved with the maker movement. And why does somebody from the maker movement who's fascinating about it and I looked at Pier 9, what Autodesk were doing, what are you doing at a People Centered you know, Internet conference which is all about healthcare? Well, only, I guess, the specifics were about healthcare, but the philosophy more in general was how do we create, we have this internet, which is a wonderful resource for yeah. all of humanity. How do we create um, a more people-centered institution that can encompass all of these different viewpoints and have people um, creating as well as exchanging and sharing information. You thought that was an excellent uh, point of view. Uh, that was an excellent question. Mm, yes, exactly. Yeah. And the maker movement has been building connections between the real world and the digital world, etc. So what did you think of the uh, of the challenges which were laid out, you know, to share information more uh, with the community, with individuals, with groups? Uh, what did you think of the challenges here at the conference? That was fascinating and really diverse group of people. So yeah. I was thrilled and honored to be a part of this. Uh, what I felt like I could bring from the maker and hacker perspective is more, these are the people on the ground who are taking this technology and trying to customize it. They feel like they have agency over what this technology is and how they can interact with it more on a personal level. Um, and a lot of the other discussants, with the exception of the guy from Wiki Wikimedia, was um, let's create this high-level policy center and think about um, what kinds of policies can we create, how can we use data to influence governments um, and aid organizations. And it's important also to look at who are the people on the ground who are actually benefiting from or perhaps not benefiting from whatever the decisions are. Yeah, but I mean, still, you, uh, I mean, the, hack the maker movement, the hacker movement is mm -hmm. proactive. Uh, they not necessarily have point knowledge about uh, the industry they're working on. Sure. How could you get that? I mean, and it's totally stuck in silos, this whole healthcare industry. I mean, it's really slow and terrifying. But I mean, you have all kinds of energy from the hackers and the makers movement. How could they help to get this whole medical world data moving? So one of the top um, young innovators in an, uh, the UN ITU competition a couple weeks ago was a young man from Mauritius who's a doctor who decided instead of having all of these doc doctors keep handwritten records that never really get shared, because oh, that's God, what yeah. they're doing in rural Mauritius. Yeah, and they have errors, errors. In Holland, 65% of the recipes and the reports have errors. Stop. <laughs> Stop writing, doctors! It's an insane number. Insane! You are insane. Stop writing. So his his <laughs> philosophy was um, he had this invention of um, a really simple um, ID card, which was already a process that the government is working on, and just attach medical records to people's ID cards so you can store that on the physical card. Mm -hmm. Um, and then just bring it in and tap it at each Like uh, S uh, Estonia already has an ID card. Everybody has an ID card. And, and you can put in things and connect things to that. Uh. Exactly. Yeah. but this Very simple idea. But now yeah, we right. need to implement it. Yeah. True. Yeah. But the, the idea here was here's this young man who's a doctor um, who could, you know, Google how do I program an ID card to look at this technology. Um, and figure out how to make himself a prototype and then present that to the ITU and say, look, guys, this is something that I think is going to work. And all he needs to do is get enough of this grassroots swelling of interest. And then that's when the government start paying attention. Okay, so we'll take a look at that. Thank you very much, Anna. I appreciate it.